Hello everyone, we will continue the topic cross applications and we will cover now how to send data from one SAP client to another SAP client. Rather than using the word materials, I will use the word data now because now you know this program is used to send all type of data of one SAP client to another SAP client. All type of data means I am saying vendor, customer, cost center, profit center, materials. This is what we are doing as of now. Now, next question, which maximum participants ask? Okay, suppose we are we created 1000 materials into this particular client, suppose 100 client. So now, do we need to manually run that transaction code BD10 or this program so that this particular material will flow to another client? No. Project never, never work on manual process. How project work? Project always, always schedule this program in the background. Suppose we will schedule this program in the background which will run after one hour or two hour, five minutes, 10 minutes. It depends upon the customer wish or customer input. Then in that case, what will happen? Automatically, this program will run in the background. It will send the materials from one SAP client to another SAP client. So in projects, we never, never manually run this particular program. And those who are already working in a project and they have these kinds of requirement, they can check this program will definitely be there, which is sending that data from one SAP client to another SAP client. And it is scheduled in the background itself. If you do not have knowledge of background, no problem. You can go to advanced ABAP concept playlist there I explained background job in full detail. Now here I will show you whatever the knowledge is required up to this level. I will show you through background how we will schedule this program in the projects and it will automatically send the data from one SAP client to another SAP client. Suppose, suppose I will go to SM36 transaction code. You all know SM36 is a transaction code to define the background job. Now, suppose my name of the background job is suppose I will say send underscore material. Okay. Suppose I will take the job class C only. If you do not have knowledge of background job, no problem. Anyways, whatever is required. You will learn from this particular video. If you want more extra knowledge, just go for the advanced ABAP concept playlist. Now, now I will go for step. Firstly, we need to define the step. Now, here pass the name of the program for which program you are creating a background job. This is our program. Yes. Now, here we need to compulsory pass the variant. Suppose if I will go for this particular program, I am running independently. Now, when this program will run in the background, how system know that you are running the program for mat mass? Here in foreground, we are putting mat mass and we are clicking on to execute button. But in background, how system know that you want to run for mat mass, you want to send the materials. So in that case, what we will do, I will create a variant. Suppose I will pass this message type, I will click on to save. And suppose my variant name is material. I will put the short description. This is extremely important whenever you do not because in background you cannot pass the input. So in that case, you can go for variant. So our name of the variant is material. 
so it is already existing i will go for different one i will not override suppose i will say mat so we will go for mat i will say so we created the variant with mat you can see here itself the variant mat whenever i will choose mat suppose if i am running the program again those who don't know variant they will now understand there is no need to put mat mask go for this variant mat okay. now whenever we will pass this variant here now what is the name of the variant mat it means it will automatically take the input as what mat mask i will go for save done so our first step done i will go for save please save because after this only you will get the message your job is scheduled if i will go to sm37 you can check the job through sm37 you can see we have a job in the scheduled status if i will go here send underscore material and what is the status scheduled suppose this background job will run after every 2 minutes suppose so i will go for start condition suppose i will go for date and time okay i will choose date suppose date is 16th i will pass the time suppose i will take 1 minute later because once i will finish the time will reach up to that suppose i will take 40 okay 1140 okay that now i will go for periodic job periodic job means we will run after a certain amount of time so i will put after every 2 minutes because it is not the case that it will run only one time you are creating only material one time you are creating and this job will run after 2 minutes and it will send i will go for save save we will save now when do not forgot to save you should get a message your job is the has the status released if i will refresh you can see the job status is released still the job has not started because we put the time after 2 minutes now meanwhile i will create materials suppose i will go to mm01 suppose i am saying send underscore 41 suppose there are so many customer team who are creating materials testing ea say so we created the material send underscore 41 i am creating material send underscore 42 i am going for description e a say suppose i created two materials now i will not run the program because it is already scheduled in the background i will refresh okay still it has not started still it is in the release status now yes it started delay is going on but yes soon the job will finish and have you seen the job is finished please it's a humble request to all of you because if you are doing the practice please please delete your job because unnecessary you are giving load to the system just see we scheduled the job and it is running after 2 minutes automatically so it's a humble request otherwise basis person will come to you and say why why this unnecessary job is running if you are doing it for practice purpose suppose now the job is finished if i will show you the status of this job job log you can see to a total 28 idox generated we have not run the program and if i will show you 200 client this is the 200 client okay this is the 200 client okay we'll see where is the 200 client this is 200 client we created material what send underscore 
it came automatically. I have not run the program in the foreground. Program run in the background and it came automatically. Send underscore 42. Done. Now, if you will see your job, it is running after every two minutes. If I will show you the job, just see refresh. It will run after every two minutes. Okay, now it is scheduled as of now. Yes, now it will, will get one more finish here. It will take two minutes because two minutes has not done yet. Suppose meanwhile, I will create one more material. Suppose I will create send underscore 44. Suppose I will put description. I will put unit of measurement, save. Now I'm not running the program to send the material. Background job is running. And have you seen? We got one more finished. So whenever one more finished, it means that data, will, particular data will go from one system to another system. Now you can see the latest status. Job log. Now total we have 24 IDOCs generated. Previously we have 28 IDOCs I think is. Previously we have 28 IDOCs. Now it's a important point. Do not think that SAP is running previous things also. No. It always run for that delta time. Suppose if the program run at 11.30 and next time it is running at 11.32. So it will take only two minutes buffer, whatever the materials created in that two minutes delta time. Now it's a humble request. Please, please delete your scheduled job. Otherwise, what will happen? Yes, basis person will come to you and say, yes, okay. Do not eat finished job, but at least delete your scheduled and released jobs. Yes, so that they will not run again. And after that, cross verify also. Otherwise, basis person will come to you and say, okay, you are giving unnecessary load to the system. You did a practice, but why you are doing this? So what is the summary of this particular video? Again, extremely important from the interview perspective. Firstly, interviewer will ask you, okay, which program you run to send the data from one SAP client to another SAP client? Do you have a common program? Yes, we have a common program. Are you running the program manually? No, we are not running the program. You, those who are working in real projects, they know the real importance of this particular program. This program is always in the background with dedicated variant. Suppose we created the variant for material. You might have cost center variant, profit center variant, vendor variant, customer variant. Because data, we have so many types of data in the projects. This is a common program. Then I scheduled a job through SM36. Where I scheduled after every two minutes. I showed you. We have not run the program. But data automatically flowed to the 200. Plan. Not automatically say. Program is running in the background automatically and data is flowed. But please, it's a humble request. Delete your job once you have once you have done. Okay, now there is no finished after that because there is no scheduled, there is no ready set. It means the job will not run at all. So now in the next video, we will start with our next extremely, extremely important topic. That is change pointers, change pointer. See, whatever we are doing, whatever we are doing, data is going from one client to another client. Is it a game? No, it's not a game. Ultimately, everything is the game of change pointers. So that is our future topic, the change pointers. So that's it in this video. Thank you.